Hey guys, I wanted to quickly show you how to cut envelopes for five and a half by four and a quarter size greeting cards, commonly cut on the Cricut Joys, but can also be cut on the Explore Era 2 and the Maker and likely other Cricut products as well as Silhouette products. Um, so I have a design for an envelope for that five and a half by four and a quarter card that I want to show you. When I cut it, I use a piece of printer paper horizontally on my mat. Um, so when you put the design that I'm going to share into design space, you will want to rotate it so that as much of that design is going across the top as possible. And you'll see that when this comes out. Um, I also want to point out, I'm going to load it here, but I also want to point out that I am using a scoring stylus. Um, I do have a scoring wheel. I choose to use the stylus so that I don't have to switch tools midway through here. I'm gonna go ahead and let that start going. It's gonna do the stylus first. Um, it's scoring four parts of the card, the four inner parts, or of the envelope, the four inner parts. For the four lines, it's now checking that I do have the blade um, in the B slot, and it's going to cut around the envelope. So that is um, cut pretty quickly, I'm unloading it. And then I wanna show you when this comes off. So at first I'm just gonna pull off the outer portion. Should come off fairly easily. Um, this is a pretty well used light grip mat. So if your car doesn't come off um, easily on its own, um, so I normally kind of like bend it down to get it started. Um, but even then, like I said, this is a well used mat. So even though I can pull mine off, no problem. Um, if your mat still has a good amount of tack, you may want to use a squeegee and kind of just push under it to get that to come up. You never want to roll your paper on itself because then you'll have a roll that'll be hard to get rid of, but you can pull away and up using your squeegee to push um, and release it from the tack. So that is the shape you'll get. That was on the mat going, let me show you. Actually, I think it was going this way across. So that's the way you're going to want it in design space um, across the top of your mat. There are score lines. One, two, three, four. This is the bottom of your card, the square part, not the three rounded sides. I'm sorry, of the envelope, not the card. I keep saying card. Um, so I'm going to um, fold the bottom up first. and I'm going to flip it over and do it in the air, not on the table. Um, the score line will kind of find itself at that point. We'll do the bottom and then the two sides, the left and the right side, not the top yet. So let me get one side, then the other. I'm gonna use a glue stick. You're gonna glue um, under the side flaps onto only that bottom flap. You do not wanna get it on the backing or your card is gonna become glued shut. So you kind of just want to eyeball up to know where that line is going to be and put all that with glue. It's okay if you go, um, if your glue sticks dry and visible, it's okay if you go over on the in, on the inside of the flap. You just don't want to do it again to the backing so you don't glue it shut. So I'm doing the two sides. So at this point, it is done um, until you're ready to stuff it with a card. Once you have the card in, you can fold that top down. Again, there's a score line for that as well. And then you can glue it shut, put it in the mail. I recommend 24 to 28 pound printer paper. Um, any lighter than that, it's going to be see-through and not really um, conducive to going through the mail. And any heavier than that, 
you might have trouble with your folds. So 24 to 28 pound. Um, and then a quick repack is I use the scoring stylus just to save myself time. I mean, I print or uh, cut lots of these at a time and you never want to roll it up on itself when you're peeling it off. Instead, you want to pull away from the mat and use a squeegee if necessary. All right, I will share a cut file from Design Space for that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.